things are getting serious right now with Leeds United. Come see. So following on from the January transfer window, the first game was away from home against Arsenal and it's a game we probably should have won. Jadon Sancho put them in front 13 minutes in. Ian Chapman and Jim Walker put us 2-1 up going into the final 10. But they got an 86th minute equaliser. Next up was Southampton at home and we won this one 3-0. Pierre and Toller, Jim Walker and Rafael Garonski with the three. Next up was Watford away from home and we got a 2-1 win. But of course, Adam Ida scored for Watford. Adam Ida is the bane of my existence. Porcino and Entola with the goals in this one. Another three points. We then face Watford again, this time at home in the FA Cup fifth round, which I was just, I didn't really want to bring you at this early. FA Cup stuff, it's only going to be if we get to an advanced stage, which we well might have. Comrade and Porcino with the goals in this one, though. We then beat our former side Huddersfield away from home. Porcino with the only goal in the 10th minute. Another former side, not in this series, in an old series. Sheffield United, we won 2-0. Richard Granger and Ian Chapman. We then face another former side, this time it's Barnsley. <laughs> Javier Cortez coming on and getting us the winner in the 87th minute. I was starting right big, uh, one of our best players, our right back. Federico Piaggio is probably going to miss the rest of this season. He got a three-month injury in this one. Hugh Griffiths, our goalkeeper, got man of the match. And finally was the FA Cup quarter final against Newcastle United, which we won 3-0. Ian Chapman with two and Porcino with the other. So, ladies and gentlemen, that says Leeds United sitting third in the Premier League table on 64 points, five points behind Arsenal top. Now, with only seven games remaining, it is highly unlikely we will be competing for the title this season. But the fact we are so close to actually challenging for a Premier League title as a newly promoted club leaves me absolutely delighted. But in other news, we are 11 points behind Birmingham City with seven games remaining. And we need four wins out of the last seven to beat Birmingham City. Which might be very, very tricky. In today's episode, we are facing Liverpool away from home and then Chelsea at home. Two big sides, they're both behind us in the league table. But particularly that Liverpool game, I'm not anticipating getting any points from that. The Chelsea game is where we will be targeting for a win. And then our run-in is actually looking quite favourable. We've got West Ham, we've got Millwall, Spurs will be tough, Leicester and Newcastle in the league. That looks good to me. These two games today could very well make or break our season. Liverpool comes up first away from home. This will be the lineup. Griffiths in goal. Harewood comes in at right back for the injured Piaggio. Garonski and Flores come in. Uh, what's happened to our man? Gilson is also injured. Uh, he returns for the game against Chelsea. Comradi at left back. Uh, our new German centre back, Cedric. You know, the centre back. Defensive midfielder. He will start there playing in the deep line. Playmaker role with Mejia playing just in front. And Toller, Granger, Walker, Vlasek. Our usual uh, front four. All fit, all ready and raring to go. But Liverpool are, of course, no mugs. Their team is full of superstars. A lot of the regions are top-notch. Iliax Mariba, Ruben Diaz, uh, Alisson. Um, I think we're all Benton core as well. The only real players left. But if you just take a look at some of the regions, they've got Fantozzi. Maybe not quite as good as Vlasek, but he's still pretty good. Uh, Coronel playing in behind is absolutely unbelievable. I wish I had him in my side. So, yeah, their team is just full of absolute quality. Away from home as well. Doesn't bode well for us going into this game. If you were to offer me a point before we kicked off, I would absolutely snap your hand off for it. So we'll kick off against Liverpool. We're on attacking right now. I am immediately going to change that to a more balanced team mentality. This tactic is really set up for us to get on the front foot and look to get a goal early. I don't think it's realistic against this Liverpool side, so we'll make the change before it causes us any problems. First highlight of the game comes with Liverpool in possession in their own half. Oh, they've worked the ball nicely to Fantozzi down this right-hand side. He gets into the box, switches the play to Benton Core, and Toller does pinch it, and Vlasek brings it down pretty nicely, and Richard Granger can come ahead through the centre. Nice little through ball for Entola. Vlasek's in behind. Oh, Alisson with a save. We'll stick with the corner. Vlasek takes it. It's back post. Garonski is the man trying to win the header, and he doesn't quite do it, and Liverpool might be countering now with Coronel down the right-hand side. We've got men coming out. Can we get the challenge in? We get the initial block and the second block. That'll do. So Liverpool are playing attack and football right now. So we're going to make the change and go on the counter and hope to catch them on the brick. 20 minutes in now and we have ourselves another highlight. Mayard coming down the left-hand side for Liverpool. Plays at a backer on the inside. They've got three or four men in the box. He goes for a goal himself. 
and Hugh Griffiths with an absolutely fantastic save. 30 minutes gone, it is pretty much all Liverpool right now going by the match stats. We're not really in this game, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we were to go 1-0 down as Benton Core. Hugh Griffiths should be saving that, shouldn't he? We'll take a look at it again in the 3D replay. Backer picks it up from uh, Mayard. It's headed down by Fantozzi. He knocks it back and, yeah, looking at that, he should definitely, definitely save that one. So let's go to a positive team mentality. Let's start taking the game to Liverpool a little bit more than we are currently. Uh, the counter-attacking style clearly hasn't worked in terms of chances created or possession. So um, we've got a lot of work to do to get a point out of this game. Liverpool once again coming down the right-hand side this time. Howard does manage to get a clear. Probably should have let the ball run out of play. The ball's whipped back in and it goes just wide. Free kick for Liverpool. Backer plays it in. Back post. Hits the bar. It does eventually go over the line and it doesn't look like it's being ruled out. Ian at Pasca with his first goal of the season for Liverpool and we're going to have to see that again. So Backer plays the ball in. Coronel wins the header and then it's just a scramble on the line and the sliding challenge from uh, Pasca ends up putting it over. Huge amount of work to, to rescue anything out of this game now. Liverpool turn up in a commanding position at home. 38 minutes in. I'm not fancying our chances from this point, but we're going to try. Armando Howard brings the ball down the right-hand side, gets to the byline, play it back, gets challenged, but Entola's there, whips it back post, Jim Walker, Mejia. I mean, that was a terrible strike. And it wasn't even the highlight football manager wanted to show me. It looks like it is going to be another Liverpool opportunity. Majewski, Griffiths with a save this time. We're just unable to cope with Liverpool in that first half. Going by the match stats, they absolutely dominated us. They're going 2 0 up. And um, we need massive changes from our boys if we're to get anything out of this game. So we are going to go a little bit more direct. We'll push the tempo a little bit. We'll pass into space and not work it into the box. Uh, simplify things a little bit. Let's see if the true quality of some of our players might come through. But it's, it might be a lost cause, this one. 54 minutes in. A goal here would see me very, very happy and give us every opportunity to get another one in the final 35 minutes. It's clear by Liverpool to Mejia. What's he going to do with it? Players are back to Cedric. Flores switches the player beautifully to Harewood and acres of space on the right-hand side. It's whipped in. It's well defended, though. Garonski out of the right-hand side for Harewood again. He seems to be our main attack and outlet. It's played in. Jim Walker's there. Heads over the bar. None of our attack and four are having a particularly good game. Jim Walker can come off of Javier Cortez and Vlasek can come off of Ian Chapman. And I'll tell you what, we're making the three. Kevin Magia can come off in the central midfield for Pietro Porcino who we will turn from a box-to-box -box midfielder to a Metzala to see if he can support our attack a little bit better. Corner for Liverpool. Griffiths claims it. Come on, start of the comeback. 17 minutes to go. The ball is played out to Javier Cortez on this left-hand side. He cuts in, gets past his man with these, goes for goal, and he's finishing, lets him down. Only 11 minutes to go in this game, and it's Liverpool once again on the attack. Fantozzi plays at Ascona. Can we get the challenge in? We can't. Griffiths flaps at that, but he does get away with it. And he sets away Javier Cortez with an absolutely superb uh, kick out from the uh, from the goal. And Cortez again, proving he can get to the final third. He just can't finish it at that point. And the time is ticking away and it looks like we're going to fall to defeat against Liverpool today. Benton, Cor and Pasca, two goals. They were just a, they were st a step above us today. We did not play well. We have a week before the Chelsea game at home. We need to bounce back quickly. And I think we might be able to do it against Chelsea. They're not the same kettle of fish as Liverpool. I'll see you at the game. So with that Liverpool defeat, this suddenly becomes a must-win game. Chelsea are not the same side they are at the beginning of the game. They are currently sitting in ninth place. But that doesn't mean they don't have very good players. We are at home though. We're going to take the advantage and hopefully get the three points. First highlight of the game comes 13 minutes in. We pinch the ball. After a Chelsea attack and Richard Granger is the man who's going to bring it away. He's got past one. Can he beat the keeper? No, no he can't. Corner though. Ian Chapman is the man to take it. Oh, Gilson gets his head in and hits the bar. Almost a goal from a corner. Who would believe it? We'll stick with the other corner then because you never know. Ian Chapman again is the man to take it. Let's play back post again and this time it goes completely over everybody. So the game's been pretty even so far with Chelsea actually holding the majority of the possession. So we're going to drop back from the attacking team mentality. Move to positive. And hope that that might get us back into this game. But that is the end of the first half. Not a great one by either side. 
We do have some powerhouses on the bench. The likes of Vlasek uh, drops to the bench today. Ian Chapman is starting up top. It could be an option to bring him on for the second half. But we'll see how this highlight goes. Mayer gets past Harewood on the left-hand side. We do stop the cross, but Chelsea retain possession. Ruben Neves to Gilmore. Oh, go on, Cedric. You can't get it. Jim Walker can, though. Can he burst away? He certainly can. He can set away uh, Ian Chapman on this right-hand side. He's got no help, no support. He goes for goal. I knew he was going to do it. Ian Chapman with a free kick. He's played Ian Gilson, wins the header again, but he can't get it on target. Changes then. Ian Chapman's going to come off for Roman Vlasic. Uh, we'll keep Jim Walker out for now, but I am thinking maybe bringing on Javier Cortez for him for maybe the final 20 minutes or so. So a highlight now. 60 minutes in, it's Granger. Finds Porcino. Vlasic's. Go on, son. Oh, he's saved by the keeper. He should be putting that away. We do get the corner, but uh, Roman Vlasic... Should have been put us 1-0 up there. Half an hour remaining. And the corner's played in. And the keeper claims it. Another highlight now. Chelsea give the ball away sloppily. We take possession and we play it back to the keeper. Jim Walker picks it up on this left-hand side. He drives past the first man. What is he going to do with it? He's managed to get himself into the box. He whips it in. And Toller, please, somebody. We need a win. We're going to go attack him. Right. Time to make changes. Abia Eze is going to come on for Richard Granger in the attack and midfield position. Unfortunately for us... Yep, as our backup right winger is not available for today's game. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring on Chris Adewalbis in the centre of midfield. He's the type of playmaker that might be able to unlock the Chelsea defence, even in an unfamiliar Metzala role. Highlight now, Chelsea playing at about at the back and they do find Asi on the left-hand side who cuts in and gets past his man. He's driving at the defence. Come on, boys, get the challenge in. Gilson comes out to Zava. Back to Asi. Oh, they're playing it about quite nicely. They've got that uh, the left and the right spaces. And Torres goes very, very close. Griffith saving us there. Time is sort of ticking away here. We do have a corner. Vlasek plays it in. And Gilson gets his head on it. His second goal of the season. And a corner goal. Of all things, we get a goal from a corner. I'm absolutely buzzing, right? We're going back to balanced. We come on and off attack. And now we do not need to press this so much. Vlasek, great corner. And Gilson, lovely header. He's had a good couple of opportunities, Gilson, today, and he finally takes one. And now we've got seven minutes to survive. Oh, you know, we could uh, go and get a second. Cedric whips the ball at the right-hand side. Dubalbis, he hasn't got the athleticism to pick up that ball. And unfortunately, Chelsea regain possession. I see he gets the ball on this left-hand side. He cuts inside, as we've seen him do numerous times now. Mayer, get the challenge in, boys. No, I see he's in behind. Oh, what a save, Hugh Griffiths. Come on, boys. Only five minutes to hold out now. The highlight still continues after that chance, which means it's not over. I see. 2-1 on this left-hand side. is whipped in. Griffiths claims a Come on. Right, this is getting ridiculous. It might very well be the long... Oh, Torres. 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 <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Emilio Torres gets his 11th goal of the season. He brings Chelsea back level. It all came from a long punt-up. It's uh, Gilmore with the pass. It's actually a brilliant pass. Completely splits our defence and Griffiths gets his hand to it, but not enough. And Chelsea draw things level. We went attacking. I don't think it's going to make a blind bit of difference. So with only four minutes remaining, time is ticking away. And that is going to be it. Leeds United won. Chelsea won. It's not the result we needed. It's not the result we wanted. We'll go and see how that sees the Premier League table. There we have it. We dropped to fifth in the Premier League. We are now out of the Champions League reckoning. We've got five games to go and we need 11 points. That is going to be tough. Although our running is not too bad. The only major challenge really is Spurs. Now that's not to say everyone else is going to be a rollover. But I am hoping we can turn this form around and get wins in the remaining four games of these. And then it just comes down to luck and variance to see what happens. But in terms of next episode then. I think we're going to skip the FA Cup semi-final. It is a little bit crazy. I did want to bring you that initially. And if we'd won either of these games I probably would have. But the league is so important right now. We can't afford to take our eyes. Oh, actually, we will come. We will. We need a bit of a break. We'll come back. We'll play Wolves in the FA Cup semi. See if we can finally get our first domestic cup final in this save. And we'll also face Millwall away from home. And see if we can win the West Ham game. Win the Millwall game. And then suddenly in the final three games, we only need two wins. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, it's been a little bit of a depressing one, uh, the defeat and the draw, but we are still in with a shout. Please consider leaving a like, get yourself subscribed if you are enjoying my content, and until next time, take it easy.